All right, so now that we finished our main bearing holder, we're gonna create the shaft. So for that, we are going to simply use a revolve tool. We're gonna to create the profile that we want. So I think the first tool I'm gonna to grab here is gonna be a rectangle tool. So we know the diameter is three quarters of an inch or 0.75. So we're gonna make that short section of the rectangle three eighths of an inch or 0 0.375. And then we're just gonna have a length hanging out the end. We're gonna use the revolve tool to kind of create a spacer so that it rests up against the bearing. And then we're going to add two places for some circlips to retain the shaft and then the eventual propeller that is going to go on there. Just follow the dimensions used here in the tutorial paired with the CAD model so that you can create this object. Here I'm just adding some fillets so that everything is nice and round. Now that we have our profile, I'm gonna add a little tail there for our, our revolve axis. I'm gonna select our geometry there and we're gonna revolve it around that center axis. We're gonna create a new body. And then when that looks all good, we're just gonna hit okay. Now we're gonna go into our McMaster car catalog and we're gonna find a circlip. So I've selected this one right here gone down and selected the appropriate size and we're going to import that into our drawing. We can take some quick dimensions here from their drawing and then once we download it we'll import it and put it into position.
Now what I'm doing is I'm creating the profile that we need to remove the material for that clip to sit in. Now that I have the correct measurements, I'm going to use the trim tool to delete the parts that we don't need. And once we have this profile and we revolve it, we will have the correct shape for the circlip to lock into. The nice thing is since we're, we're simply editing the sketch, once we hit the finish sketch button, it'll do the rest of the work for us. We don't have to re-revolve this outline. Now we are going to extend the shaft and then we're going to add a flat to it to make it a D shaft so that when we add our impeller, it will stay where it needs to and we're not gonna have to add any sort of fastener or uh, anything to retain it in place. We'll simply add just another clip on the end to hold the uh, impeller in place.